Emmanuel Macron says he hopes Ukraine's military counteroffensive against Russia will be as successful as possible and lead to talks. The French president met with the leaders of Germany and Poland in Paris yesterday to discuss coordinate, coordinating military assistance to Kyiv. For more on this, let's get over to European correspondent Maria Tadeo. So, Maria, we had Macron, Duda, Schultz all re reiterating their support for Ukraine. But what about long-term security? Uh, yes, Danny, and of course, that is France, Germany, and Poland. These are all strategically important countries uh, for Ukraine, politically, but also geographically. When you look especially uh, to Poland, which is a neighbor country and has been crucial uh, when it comes to the weapon deliveries. But uh, to me, there's really two takeaways from the, the dinner yesterday, this working dinner in Paris. Uh, you alluded to this. The French president, Emmanuel Macron, told uh, reporters that he had been on the phone with uh, President Zelensky, he appeared uh, to confirm the counteroffensive has indeed started. He said it could go on for weeks, maybe even months, but obviously added that if successful, then perhaps could provide a path to talks. Now, the other issue is, and this is really the fundamental question, has to do with that security framework, those security guarantees uh, that could be provided to Ukraine to break this pattern of aggression from uh, Russia. But this is a thorny issue. It is also vague at this point because when we talk about security guarantees and, and a new security framework for Ukraine, it could mean everything. It could mean the Israeli model. We could be talking about bilateral guarantees from different countries to Ukraine or ultimately the aspiration of Ukraine, which would be the full membership uh, to NATO. Danny, a lot of this is an open debate. This is really a diplomatic flurry that was started, kick-started yesterday uh, in Paris. It will take us all the way to the NATO summit in July, but ultimately it will be about this consensus of what kind of security guarantees can be provided for Ukraine. There are some that believe the country now really deserves and merits a real path to NATO membership, but others will still say this is a dangerous but also a cautious issue.